guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Gabrielle and today I am going to be giving you a little preview of my honeymoon. So we went to Belize on our honeymoon and we stayed in this eco lodge. It was beautiful. Um, we definitely went to enjoy our honeymoon and not be super distracted. So I ended up not filming a ton. Um, but I wanted to film stuff that we could look back on. So this is not really a well thought out vlog um, because we just really wanted to enjoy being together on our honeymoon. But here is a little preview of the honeymoon. So I hope you enjoy this and make sure you give me a big thumbs up and subscribe down below. So once we landed in Belize City, a guide from our resort came and picked us up and took us to lunch. And then we went straight to cave tubing in Jaguar Paw. And it was about a 45 minute hike, pretty moderate. And we got to hike through the jungle and through the Caves Branch River. So we did kind of go through a couple parts of the river on the hike, which was very refreshing on a hot day. And then we got to the mouth of the cave. So the Mayan caves have a lot of history in them. And it's honestly a little spooky. This is most likely where they had sacrifices. And they believed that caves were kind of like a passage to the underworld or Jibaba. Um, shout out if you've ever seen the movie El Dorado. Gives you a lot of context. Um, and they believe that the water dripping down from the cave was like holy water. We're definitely exhausted after the tour and we got a little tropical drink from one of the vendors at the park and then made our way to the resort where I will give you Hi a guys. room tour. <laughs> we made it. We did. This is so cute. I have these heliconias maybe? I don't know what type of flowers those are, but they're gorgeous. Here is some champagne. We actually bought that beer at the store. <laughs> and some chocolate covered strawberries. And this is our little back patio. There's a giant bug out here. We have an outdoor shower and a pool. Zach's in his bathing suit. <laughs> Good. So super cute. So the next morning was pretty slow. We just ate our breakfast next to this little iguana who was snacking on some fruit scraps and we explored the property for a bit and we saw these really cool leaf cutter ants. I had never seen them before, so that was really exciting. And then we made our way in the late morning, early afternoon to Zunantunich. To get there, you had to cross the Mopan River on a hand-cranked ferry, which was really cool. And then when we got there, there weren't a lot of people there except for a group of excavators, so it felt like a private tour. It was a bit scary hiking up because there were no railings, obviously, but when you got up there, it was breathtaking to see the architecture. On day three, we ended up crossing the border into Guatemala to visit Tikal, and that was a little bit nerve-wracking, but we had an amazing guide who met us on the other side, and she gave us an incredible tour of Tikal, and we actually saw a coati, I think that's how you say it, which was so cute. It's like the Belizean version of a raccoon. And there's also a scene from Star Wars filmed here, and so we were kind of geeking out about that. But this was an all-day trek to get to Guatemala, cross the border, and then get to the site. So our whole day was basically taken up by it, but it was so worth it. Day four consisted of an incredible zip line through the jungle. We actually ended up seeing some howler monkeys and our guide actually was calling the howler monkeys and they are honestly so scary sounding. After 
after we went zip lining, we ended up going to a cooking class at this lady's house where we made everything from scratch, from chicken soup to tamales. And instead of wrapping them in corn, we ended up wrapping them in banana leaves, which gives it a very different flavor. And we ate way too much food there. It was phenomenal and we learned so much. And for dessert, we made hot chocolate. We roasted the beans and then ground the beans and then we added hot water, cayenne pepper, and some honey, and it was delicious. On our last day that we were there, we got to go to an iguana rehabilitation center where we got to learn all about iguanas and their environment and how they release them safely back into the wild. And it was so fun because we're big animal people and we got to hold them and the babies were honestly the best part. They would climb up on the tallest place that they could find, so they'd be all over your head and all over your back, and it was just so much fun. We also ended up kayaking down the McCall River, and it was absolutely beautiful. Honestly, it was such a long kayak, though. We were like, why did we do this on our last day? We're so tired. Um, but early in the week, we did actually get to do some massages and kind of relaxed the first day that we were there. So we didn't really count that as like an adventure day. But we just kayaked into the city to go to a local market. And then that night, they surprised us with a romantic dinner where we got to just kind of relax and soak in our last day there.